Hi, I'm Bill Myers and this is another one of my video tips of the week. In this week's video tip, I'm going to show you how to download the Google NIC collection and how to use it whether you have Photoshop Elements or not. In case you don't know, the Google NIC collection is a collection of photo filters and photo adjustment tools that previously sold for more than $200. But Google bought the company and surprised everyone by making the NIC collection free and the collection includes Analog Effect Pro, Color Effects Pro, Silver Effects Pro, HDR Effects Pro, Sharpener, and Define. Now if you want this collection what you do is you go to the google.com slash nick collection and click the download now button. It's a large file, 500 megabytes, but once you download it and install it you can delete the installer file. Once you have downloaded, click to install and once you have it installed it'll work with Adobe Photoshop or Photoshop Elements if you have those on your computer, but if you don't you can still run it. First thing I'm going to do is show you how to use it in Photoshop Elements. Now this is Photoshop Elements and I've loaded a photo of a motorhome. To use the Nick Collection, once I've loaded a photo, I just go up to Filters, come down and choose Nick Collection. And then from the Nick Collection, I can choose any of these filters that I want. For example, if I want to use the Define filter, I click that. And a window opens showing me what the filter looks like. The Define filter basically is a noise reduction filter and what it does it looks at your photo and decides where the noise is and it automatically removes the noise. And like all the filters in the Nick collection you can use the before and after to see what it looks like or the side by side to see what it looks like. And once you have the noise filter applied you can click OK or you can click Cancel. Now the other filters are a little bit more fun to look at because they have other options. So we'll go down the Nick collection and we're going to look at Color Effects Pro 4. And this is what the Color Effects Pro 4 looks like. And what you have over here are presets, and you can either look at all presets or the landscape presets or the wedding or architecture or nature, portrait, or travel. When you find a preset, you can come over here and click one of these buttons, and it'll change the way your image looks. You can see it works pretty nice. You can even put borders on your image. And over here, you, you have adjustments that you can apply to the image. So you can see there's lots of little filters here. And again, there we've done the travel. If you have a portrait filter, if you have someone's face and you want to soften their skin, you click the skin softener filter and you notice it smooths the things out. Now it's a really nice set of filters and it's great that they're free, but if you don't have Photoshop Elements or Photoshop or some of the other programs that it works in, you may feel like you're left out. Fortunately, you can run these filters without Photoshop or Photoshop Elements. According to Google, you can't, but the reality is you can. And in order to do that, we go ahead and install them. And once you have them installed, open your computer and go to the program files slash Google folder. Now, if you've got an older computer, it might be program files 86, but whatever it is, go to the program files Google folder, find the NIC collection, click on it, and you'll see the programs there. There's the analog color, define, HDR, sharpener, silver, and Vivenza. And what we're going to do is we're going to run the HDR. So what we do is we click on the HDR folder. And on the HDR folder, what we do is we click the HDR Pro 2.exe. And when we do, it opens up. It's standalone. It doesn't need Photoshop. It doesn't need anything else. And the way this works is you click File, Open Images, choose an image that you want to edit. Now, this should be a high resolution image. Click OK. And there it is. And to edit this, you can come over to the preset library and find the different presets and apply those. For example, we're now in the landscape preset, and I can apply a soft, I can apply the vignette. And I've got it so it shows me the before and after. You can see it right there. And you can scroll down and try these different ones until you find one that you like. Or you can go to the architectural ones and apply those. And to see what it actually looks like when you apply it, those are the effects. You can do the surreal. Now this is HDR, so you're going to see some interesting effects here. Just like when you're running the Nick collection in Photoshop Elements or something else, you can come over here and change the settings. You can change the HDR method, the detail, the drama, the tonality. You also have scroll down where you have other things that you can change. The good news about this is that you can run this collection without requiring Photoshop Elements or Photoshop. It can be run standalone. And if you find one that you like, all you have to do is click File, Save Image As, and save that image. To run it standalone, install it on your computer and go to the folder where you installed the programs. And it'll generally be Program Files Google Nick Collection. And then choose which of the ones in the Nick Collection that you want to run. The Google Nick Collection is free. It works both with Windows and Mac. And to download it, you go to google.com slash Nick Collection and click Download Now. Anyway, I thought you might be interested in knowing how to do this. I'm Bill Myers. This has been another one of my video tips of the week. You can find more like this at www.bmyers.com.